Have you ever wondered how to correctly handle a credential in a Jenkins pipeline? If you're new here, welcome. And if you are new, you don't know who I am. My name is Darren Pope, and I'm a developer advocate for CloudBees. A lot of times you may not know how to correctly deal with credentials in a Jenkins pipeline. There are actually numbers of ways to do it. Today, we're going to focus on the primary way to deal with credentials in a declarative pipeline. Now, let's take a look at what the documentation says. Now, you can use the credentials helper, which is called out right here under the environment directive, called credentials. And what does that mean? Well, this gives us the ability to pull in credentials without having to use the with credentials step. Now we'll see in a moment where with credentials still matters. But if you're using any of these four credential types, if you're using secret text, if you're using secret file, username and password, and SSH, SSH with private key, then you're able to just use the credentials helper and be able to not have to use with credentials. Now, in the case that you have a credential type that is not one of these four, then you will have to use with credentials. As an example, let's take a look at the documentation. As we can see here, there is a pipeline that has an, ac an access key named in this environment and credentials, and we're going to load in a credential with the ID of my predefined secret text. And then at that point, an access key would have the value of that credential. However, when you want to use an access key, that credential that we just saw, how do we do that? Well, Jenkins Pipeline uses the same rules for string interpolation as Groovy does. Notice how I said that. The Jenkins Pipeline uses the same rules. It's not using Groovy to do this, but it's using the same rules as Groovy. And sometimes this can get really, really confusing. And in fact, it boils down to single quotes or double quotes. If we take a look at that, this example here, single quoted is just single quotes around hello and double quoted is around double quotes around world. Now, when you were to go through, and in this case, this is an example that you would use within a scripted pipeline because of the use of def. I can see I have def username equals in single quotes Jenkins. And if I say here, echo Mr. dollar sign username with single quotes, then when this renders, it is going to be hello Mr. dollar sign username in braces. However, within the double quotes, it expands to include the value of our username variable. Now you need to understand these differences between the single quote and the double quote. Now looking at that single quote and double quote, it might have jumped out at you, well, if I was to put a credential inside of a double quote, that means that credential would be rendered out. And if you thought that, you're partially right. Jenkins has the ability to know when a variable is in double quotes or in single quotes as the pipeline is running. But you still need to be extremely careful because there is a possibility that you could leak your secret whether it's a user pass or, or whatever it may be. Whatever that credential is could be leaked. So let's take a look at this example that's right here. I have an example creds and I'm pulling in an example credentials ID. And if we take a look at how this is set up, sh double quotes and we're making a call with curl with example creds USR and example creds PSW, this is wrong because what's going to happen as the documentation goes on to say, as it performs the interpolation, that sensitive value would be injected directly into the arguments. 
which most of the time you're not going to see it. But what would happen is if you were if you were watching the process on that agent, you could see the literal value for that argument show up in a PS output, which is still very bad. If you use the single quotes, it will stop that leaking from occurring. And we can see that right here. Now, let's flip over to a live example of what this looks like. I have a Jenkins controller set up. And in fact, just so you know, I am running Jenkins 2.263.1 which at the time of this recording is the latest version. I have a credential set up that is named or has an ID of example credentials ID, just like what we saw over in the documentation. It is a username and password type of credential. We can see that with username with password. And it's not real surprising. My username is username and my password is password. Let's go take a look at the two jobs that we have here. I have a double quotes version of the job. We'll take a look at this pipeline. And we can see that this looks exactly like the example that we just saw in the documentation. The only change I've made is I am using an agent with a label of Linux. Other than that, everything is exactly the same. I have an environment variable set up, example underscore creds, and it's using the credentials helper to pull in the value of example credentials ID. But notice that we have a double quote around curl, which again, as noted in the documentation is wrong. So let's go ahead and run this and look at what the log has. We can see here that the masking supported pattern matches of example creds or creds USR or creds PSW. So it's gonna be masking these out when it shows up in the Jenkins build log in this console output. However, there is also a warning that's dropped in right here. A secret was passed to SH using groovy string interpolation, which is insecure. So this is just a warning. It doesn't stop the job, but this is a warning. And then it tells you which arguments were potentially used. And then there's a link off to what we were just reading with the groovy string interpolation. Now you can see here that it was curl-u, we did star out the values. So it's aware and is able to block it out of the console output, but it still ran and gave us a warning. Now let's go take a look at single quotes. If we do a, let's take a look at the configuration first. We can see it's the exact same pipeline, except that we are using a single quote. Okay, so let's go back to single quotes and let's do a build now. And what we'll see on the output is we still get our masking, but we do not receive the warning that we received when we use double quotes. And this is what we would expect a correctly written pipeline to do. It's using single quotes around the variable that was being brought in it is not using the string interpolation rules that are based on groovy string interpolation rules. So that makes it much more secure and we won't have a leak of our credentials. So in this video, we took a look at how groovy string interpolation rules apply to Jenkins pipeline. We looked at an example, actually two, one using double quotes and seeing the warning and one with single quotes and seeing no warning. If this video was helpful for you, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to CloudBeast TV yet, please go ahead and click on subscribe and go ahead and ring that bell to be notified anytime there is new content available on CloudBeast TV. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us. We're on Twitter at CloudBeastDevs, or you can reach out to me personally on Twitter at Darren Pope. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.